fucked and drank all night Acted all alright Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Fucked and drank all night Acted all alright Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight As you can see, I've got my R380 Ashcroft heavy duty bearings uh, gearbox here. I've uh, put on the linkages for the transfer box, which operate like this, and will attach to here and the lever here on the transfer box. And then here I have my Ashcroft 1.1 ratio uh, ATB and also sleeved transfer box that. I've just got back and uh, as you can see it's all beautiful and shiny all lovely and clean and uh, yeah ready to go on the car um, what I'm going to be doing here is connecting the gearbox and the transfer box together on the bench uh, so while I'm here on the bench and everything's easy I'm going to take off these four bolts and uh, fit the synchro gearboxes slick shift to the car which is going to make a huge difference and reduce the kind of wobbly horrible nature of the gear change on an r380 uh, if you want one of these go to synchro gearboxes uh, online and you can order one i highly recommend it you out of my mind it's like i feel it for the first time been thinking about you all night i've been searching for this all my life you're just my type i've been looking for a boy who can treat me right but your dark hair with those eyes so bright they look into my soul and it sparks my life can i take you there like it was the first time do you remember can i take you there to when we felt like this was forever Can I take you there? see the silicon that's used out this shift is in place up top what I've got to do now is lift these springs over onto here uh, this is an adjuster in the later on once I fitted it to the car I'm going to adjust it up so this shifts nice and slick basically these two springs balance with the position of 
of the shifter and uh, so you need to adjust the heights just to get it all set up right. If you're having problems selecting it afterwards it's because of these, uh, these adjusters need adjusting up or down. Right guys, so my latest style um, brake servo and slash pedal box assembly has arrived. I've already brought a new uh, master for it, so I'm just going to swap that out. Actually, it looks like the servo itself has been recently replaced. It's in really good condition. But I'm still going to strip it down, uh, paint the back pedal box properly inside and out, and then re refit it all so it's going to be nice and clean and tidy for the car. Sorry for the lack of video content here, somehow I've managed to lose the video. So uh, in this picture you can see the um, brake pedal box and uh, master refitted to the car, all, sh all nicely painted up and uh, ready to be plumbed into the brake system. However, before fitting this I had to fit the steering arm, which I experienced an issue with, so I'll just put it in a short clip now to let you know what went wrong. Right, so as you can now see, the steering shaft's in, all buttoned up, there's absolutely no play in it, which is brilliant, and uh, that's going to be perfect. As I said before, weirdly, because mine's a hybrid of a uh, number of cars, the actual part number for the parts I was supposed to use didn't actually fit for my vehicle, so I had to use the shorter version of this, and uh, that's just one of those Land Rover things, things like that you have to look out for. If that hadn't have been fastened in place properly, the steering arm could have come off while driving. Uh, it's just important that you, you notice these little things when working on a Land Rover and uh, try and overcome them where possible. Luckily, I'd ordered both of them, or two of each already, because I wasn't sure what I was going to need. So I'll send these two back now, and uh, luckily the job hasn't, hasn't cost me any more time. I've just got to pay for a couple of quid for postage, so no dramas there.